Welcome to AQMD On The Air. I'm your host, Rocio Santa Cruz. Joining us from Burbank, California, is director and Golden Globe and Emmy Award winning actor, as well as social activist, Edward James Olmos. Mr. Olmos, it's an honor to have you on the show. Thank you, it's a pleasure to be here. <laughs> Having been born and raised in Los Angeles, tell us what you remember about air quality 30 years back. Well, let's take it back a little further. Let's go back, since I'm 63, let's go back to when I was 10, when, uh, the first haze came into being. There was one point when I was very young that there was no haze. And then all of a sudden there was haze. And then that haze turned into smog. And it was all due to the contamination of vehicles and different kind of machinery. And it was really interesting what happened because I, I remember there was a time when I could play outside and I could breathe, I could run, I could play. And then all of a sudden, at about 57, 55 to 57, 1955, 1956, 1957, started to change. And the change was prolific. Uh, water would get like, it would feel like your eyes were burning and you could taste it. And then pretty soon you, you could actually, you couldn't even run too far because you'd get winded and you were breathing in these particles of air that were polluted. And uh, that's when it started. And I remember them saying, well, this is just a phase. It's just a phase. But the more cars that we got, the more diesel engines that were run, the more machinery that was brought into Santa California, the more people that came to live here, the more polluted it became. Then we started to put emission control on vehicles. And then about 30 years ago, we started to see a small change. But by then, it had already affected us. And it affected us to a point of where my sister, my brother, my uh, sister-in-law, my niece, who's, my niece is only 28 years old. She, they've gotten asthma because of the air that they breathe. Now, even with all the control that we've had, uh, we still have a big problem with, uh, with the air pollution in this part of the world. Mr. Almost, not only have you had a very successful acting and directing career, but you've also founded several nonprofit organizations. What would you tell viewers about the importance of getting involved in order to be part of the solution? I would say that it's up to us to make our lives uh, more understanding and more livable. Um, we can continue to pollute, we can continue to pollute our oceans, we can continue to pollute our, our water supplies, our air supplies. Uh, we can continue to do all of that and what's going to happen is our children's children's children are going to be the ones who are going to really be in trouble. And um, as of right now, um, my children are in trouble and my grandchildren are in trouble because we live here in Southern California, we love it here. But basically our water's being contaminated and our air is being polluted and we continue to move in this region, this way. So we have to take responsibility for it. We have to learn how. If people really want to understand what they can do, all they have to do is go to the website, cleanairconnections.org. And if they go there, then they'll find a way of giving to the advancement of themselves and their families by learning how they can help clean our air. If you go there and, and you'll see how the ways that you can help to donate your time and your energy towards understanding how to make this a better place to live. We have to take the responsibility ourselves. Uh, most of the work that I do, about 95% of the work that I do is uh, non-profit. It's not, I don't make money doing it. 5% of my work uh, gives me the op opportunity to work for free. And uh, I think that, you know, I've lived my life this way since I was very, very young even before I was known, even before I had made any kind of money, um, I was working like this. It, it comes from my family. So um, the more you give, the more you receive. The more understanding you give towards clean air, the more the air will be cleaned. So think about it. Mr. Amos, thank you for sharing your personal story on how air pollution has impacted your family and for stressing the importance for everyone getting involved. Thank you so much for the work that you guys are doing all the way around. On behalf of AQMD On The Air, thank you for joining us and working together to help clean the air that we breathe.